today we're gonna make a double chocolate zucchini cake it is rich and chocolatey and moist and like the zucchini just kind of melts into the batter and makes it super duper soft but without having an overwhelming zucchini flavor it's just a really decadent chocolate cake it's divine all right let's get into it so you know normally i like to just like get my butter going and all this that stuff but right now we're going to take a few minutes and we're going to prep everything so that it's all ready for us to just make the batter i have my oven preheated a 325 convection um or regular is fine and we're just going to take a moment here first we're going to do our dry ingredients super easy i've got ap flour cocoa powder kosher salt baking powder and then we're going to whisk those together carefully so it's not to cocoa powder your countertop we'll do that later so then we've got our sour cream and heavy cream or milk i didn't have milk so we're using heavy cream whisk those together this will just make it a lot easier to get into the batter all right so that's our wet ingredients, if you will. And now we are going to prep our pan. Yes, look at her, super stoked. But if you remember from my other bond cake, you remember that it is a serious endeavor to, to prep this pan. So without further ado, uh, spray your pan or butter it. Um, it doesn't matter, just make sure that you give it a nice coat. Um, I do not have the patience for buttering my pan, but it does taste so good. And then we, my friends, are going to cocoa powder our pan. Yes, you thought I was gonna say flour. If you flour your chocolate cake pan, then you will have like a weird white mottled outside of your, of your cake and that's gonna look, well, less cute than this. So we're gonna do this. Just go ahead and put some cocoa powder in your pan here, just all around, and then, we are going to do just like we did with the flour, and we're going to kind of tap it around. Definitely want to make sure that that center section has a decent amount of cocoa powder on it because we don't want the center of our cake to stick either. Ooh-wee, this is tedious. See that? That, my friends, is a very generously coated pan. Now, we don't want it to be that generously coated, right? We want it to be a light dusting. Um, so this would be, you know, would have been awesome if I had done it, but I'm gonna keep it because you know what? There's nothing wrong with it. Now for the last step, I'm gonna put a towel underneath here so that my neighbor doesn't get angry. All right, I'm gonna tap it out aggressively. Finally, wow. Now I, mm, yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Probably put it in a smoothie or something. And the last thing that we're gonna prep for this cake, which I swear is easy, <laughs> is our zucchini. Yes, my friends, it's a healthy cake. What's up? Basically breakfast. I do not peel my zucchini. Nope. I go ahead and like, you know, kind of cut off the, the tip and the tush, and then I am going to grate it on a box grater. You can do it in a food processor if you are cool enough to have that attachment, but my apartment is too small. And I'm gonna use, not the, this weird one, which I'm still unclear about what this is for, uh, but the, uh, the kind of fine box grater side. And then I'm gonna kinda go on an angle, and I'm just gonna grate, 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 grate away. Yeah, we're gonna grate all this. We want like a cup and a half. I've got two small little guys here. If you have like meaty ones, um, then you might wanna cut them open and just kind of cut out any seeds that are visible. All right, I'm gonna do about half of this one and then we put the rest of the salad or something. All right, that looks delightful. I'm gonna get them off of here. For this cake, I am not gonna squeeze them. I, am going, I want all their moisture to be in the cake and it's gonna make it super moist and tender. Um, save her, she's And now we are finally ready to make our cake. 
Now, I promise that the most tedious part was getting all of that ready, and this is gonna fly by, and then we're gonna have cake. All right, so in the bowl of my stand mixer, I am going to put my butter. You know what has actually happened with my butter this morning? It's temp. I know, who am I? So we are ready to just roll through. No torch needed. All right, get that in there. Oof, I'm here. And now we're just gonna go ahead and put our sugar in. I got a considerable amount of brown sugar. Yum. And granulated sugar. And then we're gonna start on low, so it's a decent amount of sugar. And then we will increase it. There we go. Oh, what's that cream? Now don't forget that light brown sugar and dark brown sugar cream a little differently than regular granulated sugar. And they never look quite the same uh, light and fluffiness as, um, as regular sugar. All right, so you'll see it's gotten a little lighter, it's a little fluffy, it's kind of pulled away from the sides. Um, and we're gonna start adding our, yeah, we're gonna start adding our eggs. Just a little bit of time, really beat that in. Give her a scrape. Last bit of egg. Vanilla. Yes. Get it in there. Oh dear. She is bootyful. Okay. So next step is we're gonna get our chocolate in here. Now I want to add my chocolate all at one time. Um, I do not dilly dally with my chocolate adding. And then we're just gonna go ahead and get all of this chocolate in at one time. Otherwise, if you add it piece by piece, then it can have a chance to seize and firm up. Now ours is, you know, is melted and it's slightly warm. It's not any warmer than just kind of like body temperature. So don't, you, know, you don't want it to be hot because you do have eggs in here and we want them to be cooked in the oven and not with our chocolate. All right, go ahead and beat that in. Break down the size of the bowl because sometimes the chocolate likes to get stuck there and if you let it sit there then it will also set on the sides of your bowl which means it's not in your cake and that my kids is a tragedy tragedy all right we've got ourselves a nice chocolatey base we are going to alternate our wet ingredients that we already mixed and our dry ingredients that we also already mixed. Um, we're not going to dilly-dally between each addition. We are just going to turn it on low and we are going to get that going. Now this is a little thicker, so it needs a little, you know, help. You don't want it to, you know, mix too long with, after you start to hydrate the flour, you know, gluten. It is a thick batter because this is, if you remember, we are going to add a lot of zucchini and we did not squeeze out the moisture. So there's moisture in this cake coming from the zucchini. So go ahead and get that in there. Who's excited? All right, just going to scrape. Oh my goodness gracious, she is lovely. I still have a little bit of flour uh, in my bowl that's unincorporated, um, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and add my zucchini. Get that in there, all of it. Mix, 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 mix. Our batter, she is done. Anyways, we've got our batter. She is gorge. And now we're gonna put her in our pan. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and get, get her dolliver in here. Um, Boom, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Every last little bit. Wow, yes. Get yourself a little offset, uh, perhaps the back of a spoon, either will work, and go ahead and just kind of get your, your batter in like kind of, you know, more evenly distributed. It will spread itself out a little bit when it when it bakes, but you don't want it to be so greatly different. Um, the smaller, these smaller bun pans are actually kind of hard to spread with an offset, so a spoon might have been a better choice for me. But here we are, we've done it. Oh yeah, tastes really good. 
just, just making sure. We're gonna pop this in the oven, 325. It's been preheated. And we are going to bake, it's probably gonna bake close to an hour. This is a smaller pan, so it'll bake faster than maybe a more traditional bundt cake that you're thinking of. Um, I'm gonna start checking it in probably about 30. Um, in she goes. She's out. It baked about 45 minutes um, and it rose beautifully, cracked, had a lovely cracking on top and I just kind of popped this in and pulled it out and it was very clean, um, you know, a couple clinging crumbs and that's it. And now, sadly, we have to let her cool. I know, I know, but it's important, otherwise we're not gonna get that beautiful um, shape of the cake and it's just sadly necessary. So it'll take a couple hours. We'll check back in, you know, tier. It's time! <sighs> she is finally cool and we are ready to unmold and I am so excited, slightly nervous, but mostly excited. Okay, so you can unmold this onto a plate, onto a cake stand, um, straight onto your own personal dish to just eat the whole thing. Like that's fine, love a commitment. But we are gonna use this one right here and hope for the best. Now you can see it's fully cool, so it's pulled away from the sides. Um, obviously I can hold it. If you see just um, any sort of batter that maybe was higher than the other batter and kind of just stuck, uh, just go ahead and give it a, you know, loosen it a little bit just so that that one piece doesn't, doesn't stick. she is. Um, obviously I had to give her a little help uh, with a, an offset um, to get it to come out, um, but we're going to cover her with either a glaze or cocoa powder, so I'm not really stressed about that. So we're ready to glaze. So I'm going to use a thick chocolate glaze and we are going to just cover this whole thing in this like beautifully luscious chocolate frosting, which I'm super stoked about. Without further ado. You could also do 10x or, you know, you could dust it with cocoa powder. You know, it's really, it's all about whatever you want to do. Without further ado. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to put it on the top and see what happens here. I might need to, uh, yeah, I'm going to need to warm it up just a little bit probably. I mean, you can use as much or as little glaze as you'd like. I'm just really in the mood for like extra chocolate because apparently a double chocolate cake isn't decadent enough for me. It's time to try. It's the moment I've been waiting for. Super stoked, okay. So it is completely cool, it is completely glazed. The glaze still is like, it hasn't set totally, but like, you know, I love a good fudgy chocolate situation, so I'm not gonna complain. Dig in. Ooh, so soft. Myself a nice thick slice, you know? Oh, look at that. It is so moist and so rich. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is gorgeous. And I cannot wait to dig in. I can see like little pieces of zucchini. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's divine. The zucchini just kind of melts into the batter. And it's just super rich and super chocolatey and so moist and just has like this really delicate crumb that like melts in your mouth, but it's still kind of like a little bit dense, almost like a pound cake, but not quite so dense. Mm. Oh, it's phenomenal. It's so good. Just one more bite for the road. Just a little tiny little. Mm. Yum.